Hi everybody, it's Diane from Do Wacky Arts and Crafts. How's everybody doing? I am doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. If you were asking, those of you that weren't, well, I'm gonna tell you anyway. So I'm doing great, thank you. And well, another week has come and gone. We are basically right at the end of January, guys. Can't believe we're heading into February already. This is like ridiculous. Wow. And this is now episode three of the um, jeweled egg project that you and I are busy doing. And as you can see, the egg has completely dried. I mean, even the little rope or twine that we had wrapped around here has completely dried. So I thought this is going to be the painting and then we can decide on whether or not in terms of decorating. So I was, I don't know, I was playing around with ideas, maybe possibly just put on some gold little uh, tinsel wire around the edges you know maybe i don't know something like that just to give it that little extra so you can see where the opening is i guess and then maybe depending on how we get this done maybe i can flatten that out and then put like this little black little pebble bead glass bead thing at the top there as part of the decorating segment but decorating we will probably only do maybe with the fourth video officially so today we are just painting and today i'm going to use three colors as you can see i have painted on the inside this is what we did the last time it's the painting on the inside and as you can see i'm sure you can see through the camera there well i hope you can is that there is still purple markings on the inside. So what I thought I'd do, I've got some golden nail varnish and I thought I'm going to use this golden nail varnish on the inside, possibly, and use black acrylic paint on the outside, simply because I had an excess of black paint. I mean... I wanted to actually do blue, but my blue seems to be running a little low. So I thought, oh, well, I've got the black and black and yellow, black and gold. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, in case you couldn't see the name there, I've decided to write it all down. I hope actually you can see the names, so to speak, and the colors. So I'm hoping you can see and read the colors on there. So we've got the Sorbet Glam Effect Golden Oldies, the acrylic paint gold, which is what I did initially paint the inside with, and the Dollar Acrylic Paint in black. So um, that is now these three items here, which we are going to basically be painting our egg with. So, oh, how's everybody doing? Um, what has happened? Seriously, like what has happened? Wow, I, I can't even tell you what has happened. Let's start actually with the nail varnish, the nail varnish on the inside. What I thought is I'll just paint on the inside there and give this as the final coating on the inside. I uh, don't know if you can actually see that, but okay. And if you are wondering what I am making, I will try and link a picture down below. Um, well, not link, I'll put a picture on the screen down below. And just to show you roughly what we are attempting to do, yeah. And please, guys, as I said before, this is my first time I'm doing this. I've never tried this before. 
you and I are learning together. And if you've done one of these before, please share some tips. Tell me maybe how I could have done this differently. And yes, okay, time-wise, probably this is much more long and tedious, but I am just, like, seriously, this is just basically how I would think to do this. So, I mean, if you've got better tips or anything like that, if you've done something like this, please share pictures down below. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you guys think so far. I mean, are you guys doing this with me? I hope you guys are. Maybe not now. Maybe you're first wanting to see how it actually ends up before you actually start to try it. And, yeah. So, February. We're heading into February. And I thought maybe with one of the videos, maybe I'll show you how to make some cards. You know, just give you some extra ideas for do-it-yourself cards. You know, kitties can make, you know, to their sweethearts or to mommy and daddy or, you know. Just some card ideas and that. I thought I'd do that maybe as the next video. Give some card ideas out. And we do a couple of cards together. And then, yeah, because it's February, the month of love. So, what? I actually today just learned there is a murder mystery number two coming out adam sandler and jennifer anderson i mean gosh i love the first one i've probably seen the first murder mystery like gosh i can't even tell you how many times i've seen it but i absolutely love murder mysteries i'm a huge agatha christie fan so i've seen all the poirot episodes i've seen all the Marple episodes. I've watched a good deal of Marple movies and Poirot movies. You know, um, so I've watched a whole bunch of Agatha Christie movies. So, you know, where there's no Poirot or Miss Jane Marple in them. So, uh, yeah, I'm like a huge Agatha Christie fan so <laughs> so I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this you know this rind so to speak as well in this gold color and as you can see this is actually looking so much more better than that other gold honestly but I think if that other gold wasn't on you already it might not have actually looked so nice so i'm glad i actually did start off with the acrylic gold paint irrespective so that this year could take better if that makes sense um so yes so there's a new murder mystery number two coming out 31st of march i am definitely watching that guys definitely uh what have i watched okay so my brother got me into watching this um anime called my euro academia and um i have finished now season two of that i'm heading into season three and I am still loving it. The problem is, I think my brother sort of lost interest in it. So, it doesn't really, you know, he'll sit and he'll watch with, and then it's like he gets bored and then he wants to do something else or he starts falling asleep. And the problem is, I'm so into it already, and it's like, it's terrible to wait for him. So, I can't really wait for him. So, I'm just as... Funky. Or when he actually does want to watch, then I don't want to really watch because then I'm not really in the mood because then I want to just do something else. And then, and so, oh gosh, this 
smell is a little bit intense so that's one thing you've got to just be careful about but i'm guessing those of you who do you know paint your little fingernails you are aware of that but this i've used quite a bit of varnish on here specifically because yeah so that i can take out most of the purple and that but it's definitely looking beautifully and nice and golden and glittery and elegant elegant people <coughs> And what else has happened? What else have I watched? Gosh, I don't even know what I watched. Oh, so I tried to get my brother into watching the Arcane episodes. And I don't know, he just like watched 10 minutes and he's like, can we watch something else? I was like, what? What? So he's not into that clearly. And ooh, and I'm going to Imagine Dragons. Yes, yeah, so I'm super excited. This week is a very exciting week. I'm actually going to the Imagine Dragons concert here at FNB Stadium in Johannesburg. So I'm pretty pumped and psyched for that. And yeah, so I'll take some photos and that and I'll post on Insta and oh gosh guys i'm like so super psyched i mean i've loved them ever since i heard the song radioactive radioactive is like <whistles> that was the song that actually like hello there's a band called imagine dragons they are epic they are amazing you should actually listen to them that's the song that got me and where did i hear that song i heard that song in the movie i think it's called the host do you know the other stephanie mayer movie not the twilight saga stuff sorry got probably a huge amount of twilight fans but I'm not a Twilight fan, people. I is a Harry Potter fan, and I shall stick with my Harry Potterness. And you can ask me anything about Harry Potter, and I can have a whole bloody episode of Harry Potter on the air. Hey, I can go all full out on Harry Potter, and gosh, I can discuss everything on Harry Potter. So. <clears throat> yeah and then what else so i finished the crown i did say i finished harry and megan yeah i don't know i mean i keep hearing other people's you know like their thoughts about it and that and i don't know i mean i've got my own thoughts my own opinions and that there but people are like i don't know they're just not interested in hearing anything else and they keep changing i don't know so i'm gonna keep my own thoughts to that about that i am not going to say anything because again that could lead up to a you know when somebody says they don't want to talk about politics same concept same concept guys so yeah uh, what else? Oh, there was this new weird, gosh, it was this really weird Japanese anime thing on Netflix that came out. Gosh, what do they call it? Macabre? Mac Mac Macabre or something? Something like that. And, um, I'm sorry. I'm just going to do that for now because I'm heading now into this top part here. I just want to get this top part. Yeah, what? Well, uh, painted. Um, anyway, so it's basically just like a whole bunch of Japanese horror stories, like mini horror stories. So they're like about 18, 20 minutes long each episode. And. 
they're like Japanese stories and that there, but they're like horror stories. You know, so it's like, it's weird. It's creepy. Oh, bugger it. I'm just going to have to get paint on my fingers and be done with it. I mean, what we do for the craft, the arts and the crafts. Uh, yeah, so I watched this thing and uh, I don't know. It's really had me thinking. I mean, the first night I dreamt about the balloon head thing, which is an episode on there. That's, I don't know, that episode creeped the living daylights out of me compared to most of the other episodes. And I think the second most weird, creepy episode was probably the gravestone town. A town made out of gravestones. It's like really weird. It's like super, super weird. It's like that really freaked the living bedinguses out of me. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I had like a weird like dream about that graveyard town thing that freaked me out. So, Mm. yeah so I, I watched it because i mean you watch one and then you watch another and then you watch another it's like that uh cabinets of Cur curiosity curiosities sorry curiosities same concept as that basically just little horror tales little horror stories in that there of tales but what's nice about this one is it's like anime so it's like the story still get you but at least you know it's animation <laughs> so yeah okay seriously what the heck um, it's probably because all of these little things i didn't bother to clean there Make sure you work on a clean surface, folks. Want to die is being lazy. So, yeah, so we're just painting over here, basically all there around. Then we must just reopen it and make sure it's still open and it's not glued shut by the paint. So, look there. I can't even tell you what else is new. I mean, I don't really watch much. I literally just watched some of those, uh, that My Euro Academia. And then, like, in between, I watched this Japanese horror story manga, Macabre thing, Mama Bob, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you want to call it so yeah I watched a little bit of that in between and yeah so okay so we've got this all nicely painted oh I think it's busy peeling that's why because I'm holding it there and that's why the paint it's not sticking is because of the newspaper and that so you've got to be careful how you so maybe it would have been best if i just you know trial and error but it might might have been best if i just did one at a time okay let's do that so that we can just let that dry so we've got the black on the outside the gold on the inside i don't know if we should just paint the outside also or I mean the room as well because most of it is painted there anyways let's just so we are nearing the end of this and I am so far loving the way this is looking I again would love to hear and get your inputs and hear from you so 
if you are trying this, send me pictures online. Uh, leave a comment down below. And uh, tell me what you would have maybe done differently. You know, if you wanted to do something differently in that there, or you think that I should have done this differently in a certain way and that, please, I mean, I'm here to learn and I appreciate any comment and all feedback that I get. I really do appreciate it because that helps me help you like what you watch and yes oh guys i'm so super excited getting my third box from the papery at the end of feb mid feb end of feb somewhere there um so they sent us an email and the box's name is called box of love and I am so freaking excited because they're putting like spoilers, you know, like clips of little spoilers on Insta. And it's like, it looks so freaking cool. So I'm like, yay, you know. So I can't wait. So they're going to be doing that for February. And that's the February and March box. I'm mean, I think they do it for March as well. And yeah, and then that's my, that'll be my third box. And then I've got one more box left, which I should get around April. April. I'll get in April and that will be my last box of this six month prescription and then I have to subscribe for another six months and that and then I can start the whole process all over again so I'm so super excited to see what they're going to put in this box it so far I mean just the box itself and the whole way they've presented it and everything oh my gosh guys that's going to be one to watch. So if you like unboxing videos, watch some of my previous videos. Um, there's a new one that's going to come out within the next couple of weeks. And yeah. So, so far we've got my little jeweled box. And that they're all nicely painted. Black and gold, black and gold. And I think I'm going to put on this here around the rooms. And maybe possibly even this little black bead here, maybe at the top, like at the top of the egg. Or maybe find, look for like a yellowish or, you know, even like an orangey color or something goldish maybe. And then we've just got to decorate this. So I was thinking about stands. So, um... You know, and I was on the bus and I was thinking, you know, these champagne bottles with the wiring at the top and that there, what if you take off that wiring and you actually take off the inner and that, and you can use that as a stand? That makes sense. Um, so like a champagne bottle top, you know, the one that you un unwind and then you pull off the wiring and then you just boop. The cork out and that so it covers it holds the cork into place and that so that wiring piece if you take that off you can actually use that as a stand i mean if you want to paint it and that maybe to match your egg by all means if you want to uh take some use it you know paper mache and just cover it you know around with the paper mache go for it um so yeah so on the inside of the egg what i actually want to do is so like grab something like for instance like this you know like so this is like an old pocket watch holder so just you know get something like that just to put on the inside there so that you've got some like a little stand on the inside there to put something on you know that's what i'm actually like talking about 
you know, when you open it up and then you've got this little stand on the inside and that that's what I want to do on the inside of this here and yeah so we are finalizing this I'm going to do the decorating and then uh, we will set something up on the inside and then this is basically it I mean from here even you don't even have to watch the fourth one the fourth one I'm just going to be decorating but basically you've got your whole little jeweled egg I mean you can decorate it as you want to decorate it and but you've basically got your own little egg holder you know I mean you can put in like rings earrings maybe you know even a necklace or something gifted to a friend or something yes I'm quite happy with the way this is starting to turn out so yay I'm so excited so uh yeah so I will film that latest next week Monday again and put it on uh, maybe Tuesday or Monday or Tuesday depending on but I'll be, be filming next week Monday the latest again and we'll take it from there and then we will see maybe the following week on doing maybe some Valentine's cards so wait what's next week next week is the 6th and then the week thereafter is oh the week thereafter is the 13th last minute Valentine's cards there we go last minute Valentine's cards for that special somebody and that I will um, look at making a video on that and then post it on that Monday and then yeah then that's basically it okay guys I hope you guys have an awesome week further look after yourselves stay safe please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel um, I really love and appreciate all of you wherever you are and you are watching this if even if you just your YouTube just decided not to play this and that's thank you for stopping by you guys are awesome really appreciate it love you guys and I'll chat to you guys soon cheers bye